Hello, my name's Tony Economides. I'm a record producer and a studio engineer. I got into making music just on a whim, really. I think I was, I was working in the shop down Tottenham Court Road in central London, and um, some of the guys I was working with bought computers and they were like programming and sequencing music. And I thought, well, looks like fun, something to do. You know, maybe as an alternative to playing computer games and stuff like that. Um, it was just something that kept me up at night and <laughs> I would just work all through the night um, just making music, making beats really. I've been doing it full time to earn a living since about 1993. Um, I started off um, just doing sessions in the evening. I'd set the studio up at home in my bedroom at the front of the house and I'd get home from work, really look forward to getting home from work. and. Um, I was just, you know, just offer services. I'd, I was just winging it, really. I would just tell people that if they came round, um, they'd leave with a record. And uh, I did whatever I had to do. I couldn't really play keys or anything, but I just kind of muddled through, did a bit of that, did a bit of sampling. I've always had the thing that, you know, when after people have been working with me, when they leave, they, I want them to feel good. I want them to feel like, you know, they've uh, got something they can, they can be proud of. It's amazing getting to do what I love for a living, you know, it's something I would do even if I wasn't getting paid. I think I just have a really great appreciation of it because I think it, yeah, it just kind of all took me by surprise. And I think to have that, you know, I've, that, oh wow, you can actually do something you enjoy and, and, and get paid for it. And uh, I think, you know, that, that stays in my mind every day, really. I just really appreciate that I can do, do this for a living and I've been doing it for almost 30 years now. I love this space, I've got a really emotional attachment to it. It's in the garden of the house that I grew up in, in North London. And um, it's just a, you know, for me, it's a special space that, you know, I get together with, you know, with my friends, you know, most of the people I work with, I, I consider friends really. So it's just like a really cool space that you can just hang out with your mates in and just, and just make music and uh, yeah and and it's it's in my garden so which is pretty handy so it's not much of a commute to work essential principles um change things around a lot i think don't 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 get stuck on, on one thing for too long if something's not working then move on and then come back to it I think is always is always a good one you know in terms of like the technical side of things listen in different ways you know if you're working on a piece of music and uh, if, if you're struggling with it maybe mute a few things break things down to like maybe just like drums and bass and vocals and work like that for a little bit and so that you can get to hear it in a different way because I think you can go a bit ear blind you know when you're listening to something for so long it's really good to change the scenery and sometimes come from a different angle like um you know like sometimes i might if, like say for instance if i'm mixing a track or something like that i might just mix the vocals and, and the keys together to start with and then maybe i just might mute that and then do the same thing again and maybe just start with a couple of other elements so you can hear it in in different ways Yeah, just always learning. I don't know. I think if you if you feel like you've stopped learning, you're not hungry to learn new things, then that's not such a good thing. I th I, th I think it's always it's good to always keep learning. Sometimes creativity can be hard to achieve. So how do you help with that? Well, in, I get inspired by working with different people, listening to things as well. I think you know, listening to other you know other things or not even just music just different different kinds of art and paintings and pictures and uh, just being out in nature sometimes what I mostly get out of making music is the collaboration and bouncing ideas off other people and um, I'm happy working in that way with, with you know my regular collaborators partners that kind of stuff how do you know when it's finished? I don't even, I don't know if I know how I know. <laughs> I just, you, I just kind of do. I, I think, um, and I think also you have to accept that 
you can always go on forever and ever. And I think because um, the nature of my work and always working with other people and working with other people's music, I think it's really important for me to um, to be be the person that kind of often knows when it's finished and uh, knows when you get to the point that you're just changing things for the sake of changing it rather than improving it. Uh, this is Chris Frank, he's a long time collaborator and friend who we've been, we've been working together for about 25 years. <laughs> I don't like those numbers. <laughs> I don't like talking in those numbers. Yeah, we've been working together for about 25 years, different projects, Delata, Smoke City, KV5. Thank God for Tony. All sorts of stuff, really. Thank God for Tony and everything that he's done for us all. Oh, shut up. Ah, shut up. <laughs>